Apparently they apply a lot of uh, potassium sprays late in the autumn before harvest to encourage uh, uh, color development. As far as, as my knowledge is concerned, my physiology is concerned, there is no correlation between potassium uh, uh, and color development and especially if the potassium is in the normal optimum levels. And what they're basically doing by, by applying too much uh, potassium is they increase the risk of having uh, physiological disorders in the post harvest. So I just warning them that it's coming from somewhere I don't know where but there is clear indications that phosphate drives the PAL system in the plant the color forming enzymes so phosphate is actually the one that they should apply to enhance uh, color and I've also found that um, for a gala requires at least 0.18% uh, phosphate in the leaves uh, to have good color and uh, pink lady 0.16 and even more to have uh, good color so rather push that than applying uh, uh, the potassium that can possibly give you negative effects. Uh, nitrogen levels, especially for the light um, colored varieties, uh, the idea is basically to run a uh, towards low levels of uh, nitrogen at, at harvest time, around, around 1.9 to 2% in the leaf. Uh, at that stage, we would love to have about 0 0.16, 0 0.18% phosphate in the leaf, and potassium should be 1.2%. Uh, that gives you optimum fruit size, optimum internal quality, and no risk for post-harvest problems. I think they must really go uh, with soil samples every three years. It's not, not necessary to do it every year. But leaf samples, I have no doubt, every year. Once a year, a uh, leaf sample uh, by the end of January. They can do other samples too, if they want to check the levels maybe just before harvest. But um, the February, uh, in January, beginning February leaf sample is the optimum for me. And then every three years, a soil sample.